Rob G, uh, this is what Rob Parker was alluding to with the, I bet you we have a good show. Five NFL players have been suspended, two of them indefinitely, for betting. Uh, betting. Uh, the two indefinitely bet on NFL games. And Rob G, give us the whole kind of specific breakdown. Right. So that's the first part. Obviously, you don't want anyone betting on the sport they play. There's a lot of uh, conflict of interest, right? However, three other players, including Lions former first-round wide receiver Jameson Williams, have been suspended six games for mobile betting, not on NFL games, on other sports, but because it took place at the Lions facility, they will be suspended for six games this upcoming season. Chris, I got something on Williams. You ready for this? Yep. When you're on your rookie contract, Rob G, help me if I'm wrong, and you get suspended, your guaranteed money goes away. Like, it's not guaranteed. Like, that's... Wow. There, wow. I, I, there's some sort of clause that if you're suspended under your rookie deal, that whatever was guaranteed, it becomes... Wow. I mean, Rob that's G, huge. can you just Google that for me? Just to make... But that's what I heard today. And I believe what I heard, what I heard from, you know, talking to people, but... That's that's a big deal, don't you that's think? Huge. Because if it's you get huge. hurt now or something, Chris, they can just let you go. Right. Well, and a couple of players were. It let is go. correct. A couple of, Rob two of G these checked it out. It released. is correct. Two of these players were released by the Lions, and um, Rob, look, the first thing I'll say is, you know the rules, or you should know the rules. If you don't know the betting rules. Then shame on you. One hundred percent. Don't don't you, bellyache now and say the yeah. rules don't make sense or it's not fair. No, no, no. Everybody right. knew what it was. Hey, Chris, Pete Rose knew what it was. Yeah, he knew. No doubt. We talk about it all the time. Chris covered baseball games. When you yep. walked into that clubhouse, the biggest sign on the wall, Chris said, "What? No gambling." Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now we can. Say we don't like the rule, Rob. We've talked about, heck, the collective bargaining agreements. But at the end of the day, we don't like the franchise tag. But guess what? It's That's there. the rule right now. You voted for it. You, yep. have, you ratified it. Yep. And all this other stuff is the same, Rob. They have a say, the players. They could have pushed they, back they and fought and with said, all this. no, we want to gamble. Yep. So no, number didn't. one, they know. So I'm not, just like with Draymond, I didn't think he should have been suspended. But I'm not crying a river for him. Right. Because he did put himself in harm's way, so to speak, and so did all these guys. Now, that said, Rob, I do think it's a bit hypocritical. Obviously, the guys that bet on football, I mean, they get what they deserve. You can't, you just can't do that. Because even if you're not betting on your own team, Rob, I mean, you know dudes around the league. You might have insider information. It's like and insider trading. It, 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 it's like right, insider right. trading if you're in, if you're in a stock business, stock yep. market, Chris. And even more so, it could. I mean, you could compel a dude on another team to do some things. You know what I mean? Like, there's. I mean, you might say, "Oh no, nobody's gonna be able to convince some." You never know. Guys are friends. A dude might be in really bad shape financially and needed. You know, his boy is on great friends in college. He's on another team. So you can't bet under any circumstances on football. Rob, the again, it's the rule, but betting on, let's say that the guys betted on basketball right, on the in NBA the facility, that, and they only got six games only, but that feels a little bit hypocritical. I mean, a lot of the teams have sports books. Four of them have sports books, I believe, at their facilities. Um, obviously the NFL is in bed with at, the at, at their betting stadiums, companies. Chris, the Lions yeah, have a the, bet MGM at, right, at, at the stadium. My bad. At, 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 at Ford Field, they have a. There bet. you go. So I mean, to say a guy can't hop on his phone and place a bet on an NBA game, it's a bit hypocritical. And anyway, and, if, Rob, and, and if the league is in, sensitive. The league is if, in bed with gambling. Right, right. That's my point. If you're that sensitive. To where he could bet down the street at the 7-Eleven right down the street from the practice facility, but he can't do it in the locker room or in the facility, then maybe you just need to make a rule that players can't bet. At all. At all. Or maybe, and some or maybe people you might say, well, give- how do you do that? No, Rob, they got clauses in their contracts. You can't go surfing. You can't go You can't uh, have a motorcycle. Uh, skiing, right. Can't ride a motorcycle. All that. So if you're that concerned about it, 
Maybe you need to do that. But this does smack, I think, of a little bit of hypocrisy to, to get really punish the guys just for betting on another sport at the facility. Yeah, I mean, again, we talk about it all the time. Because, you know, some Lions staffers, Chris, got fired too. Yeah, yeah. I so it, was, it wasn't just uh, players. That's, and and that's the, the Lions had like, uh, I don't know. What were they thinking? What, what, not, not exactly. And, you know, from what I've heard, they knew that they couldn't bet. Like, period. Now, they you bet can't... on other sports or football? I think they bet on uh, other sports. But you can't, but uh, under, the their, under their, under their uh, contract, they can't bet at all. If you're, oh, if you're really? a stat, yep, you cannot at bet. all, at all, any sport, any sport. Like okay. that's different in the NBA. You can bet other sports, Chris. You just can't bet NBA. Like as employees, that's what I was right. told. But right. in the NFL, you can't bet anybody. You can't bet. Wow. Okay. If you're an employee of the league or a team, okay. so well, so it is hypocritical, and we we know this. There's so much money. This is like the biggest payday for the NFL and the sports. That's why. Even we told you before when baseball and the no gambling, and now uh, they're 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 comfortable with gambling and everything. And when I go to the Washington Nationals game, Chris, there's a betting uh, place attached to the, the Nationals Park. Yep. It's attached. Yep. I, I, I don't, you know. So um, this is this is what it is. And the players, if this is going to be an issue going forward, and it's something that you worth want to fight for, it, then you got to fight for it in the next right. collective bargaining. But right. but you gotta you gotta bite the bullet because you already agreed to this. Yep, yep. There's nothing you can do. I'm not gonna cry. I'm with you. I'm not crying anybody a river to, tonight. Yep. It's, it sounds ridiculous and sounds dumb. But if you knew what it was, you just should have avoided it. You just absolutely. And, and, and this is why? let me say this too, Chris. This is the tip of the iceberg, though. This is. Sports gambling, people getting suspended, is going to be a story going forward. It just it will. It will. No, it's, I, I can't look. I can't deny that because Rob betting has become so ubiquitous in our society that the players are going to want a piece. You know, and they, and some of them, Rob, even though they know they're going to be tempted, and hopefully they don't bet on their own team or their own sport, right? But they're certainly still going to be tempted to bet on other stuff and they might do it in the facility and right now that's the rule it just comes down Rob to and you talk about the hypocrisy of the league and now they're suspending players for betting it's just in a lot of places in our society now and, and maybe this has always been the case let's just keep it real money trumps everything can I give you numbers? Let me give you this number, Chris, about the NFL and how much they're in bed. They're in bed. They got covers pulled up and all that, uh, like deep in bed. DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesars became sportsbook partners, Chris, in 2021 after the company struck a five-year pack worth just under a billion dollars combined. Wow. And then the NFL also landed secondary deals with BetMGM, WinBet, Fox bet, points bet, Chris, partnership deals with the NFL usually run three to seven years and cost a minimum of $10 million per for the smaller companies. So the more prominent firms could pay more than $200 million. That That's the kind of money you're talking about. Right. You don't think they want that, and they don't have to do anything for that money. But right, keep doing right. what they've been doing, which is Just having the product. The right. Yep. So they're doing this for money, you know, obviously years ago, not very long ago. They didn't weren't in bed with these gambling companies. And um now they are. And hopefully, Rob, you're wrong, but this stuff might you you might start seeing a lot more of this. And so um the NFL is gonna have to figure it out. I mean, they have their rules in place and it's up to the players to respect them. But if they don't, Rob, uh, if they don't like them, then they got to fight for it, like you said, in collective bargaining. Uh, so it, it does feel like some hypocrisy. But again, the players knew the rules. I don't know why you would risk your career for something like that. Um, it's, it's unfortunate and, for these and, guys. And we just talked about the other thing, it. Chris, with Williams losing the guaranteed money. Rob G said that that is absolutely correct, yep. that it yep. becomes non-guaranteed 
And he now, was a first round pick. That's a lot of money. That's what almost seven million dollars, Chris. Now is non guaranteed, and and mm. if God forbid something happens or whatever, you know what I mean. He yep. he, he, he could be a casualty. Man. And and he had a knee injury in college, so uh, that's a scary thing. That uh, you just uh, you know took the safeguard off that seven million dollars. Yep, absolutely.